Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an empties video for the month of March. I have quite a few things in here. Honestly, more wax melts than candles, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys all my empties for the month of March. By the way, I will say, I'm sorry if you hear people talking in the background. My neighbors are having a birthday party for their kids and there's like pinatas and stuff and they're going crazy. I tried to wait it out. It didn't really work. So hope you can't hear them. And yes, we have Kai on the bed again. Special guest. Okay, so first things first, I focused a lot on my wax melts this month. So there's actually not as much candles, um, but tons of wax melts. And I am close to finishing like three different candles off. They're just like two or three burns out and I just wanted to film this video already. So I have a little bit less candle usage than I usually do, but that's okay. But I'm going to start off with like a few random things. The first one is Vitafusion Women's Gummies. I don't know. I just included that in here. Um, my deodorant, the Degree Motion Sense. I get this in like all the different scent um, versions of that. Okay, now we're going to move on to body care. So first I want to start off with a few minis. I did finish off Love Cotton Candy Champagne in the little mini body cream. This scent was so, so, so yummy. And I actually have been really loving the minis lately for just trying out different scents, especially when I'm trying to use up um, full-size items, just wanting to try different scents, um, but only buying the minis. I've actually really been enjoying that. So I think I'm gonna stick to that in the future. Um, and then I also have Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Roll. This was in my Project Use It Up and I did just finish it. Very happy about that one. It was nothing special. Honestly, the scent wasn't even, I wouldn't even say it was cinnamon rolls, just kind of like a cinnamony lotion scent. It was nothing crazy, but I did enjoy it. It was fine. I'm glad I only got it in the mini though. And then I do have a hand cream in whipped berry meringue. I just got this last month and I already finished it off. It was such a nice scent. And I definitely get that meringue scent. It's kind of crazy how they did that, but this one's really good. And then I did finish off a roller ball from Victoria's Secret. Um, this is the Tease Heartbreaker Perfume. And it did take me um, one, two, three, four, five, six months to finish it off in my Project Use It Up. So about six months to finish off a roller ball. I'm definitely using it more often than I was like in the first couple of months though. So I feel like it'll take me a little bit less time to finish off perfumes in the future. Happy to have finished this and good to know that I can finish them. Sorry, my, oops. My email was on um but this scent was really nice i definitely would consider getting it in the full size but i definitely need to use up a few perfumes before i can go purchase a full size of this one and then i finished off one hand soap in boardwalk vanilla cone i picked this up at the winter sas it was a really good scent um the notes are marshmallow fluff vanilla bean and creamy caramel really really good scent just like a sweet sugary um vanilla cone scent very nice and then I did finish off two full-size items in my project Use It Up, so you guys are going to see it first. But the first one is Strawberry Pound Cake in the Body Lotion. So you can see right here, here's my progress lines. Took me one, two, three, four months. And I did not use this consecutively in four months. I think I used it in like the spring or summer of last year, and then I pulled it back out because it was almost finished. But you can't go wrong with Strawberry Pound Cake. It is such a good scent. It definitely got me in the mood for warmer weather and... I really, really enjoyed it. It's such a good scent. And the next thing I finished off is the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel. Super happy to have finished this one off. I think it's from 2020. Yeah, so I definitely needed to finish it. So notes are Candied Red Apple, Winter Rose Petals, Candied Orange, Maple Leaf, and Fresh Cinnamon. Um, it took me one, two, three, four months to finish it off. Um, really one month I like didn't use it at all. So, but I mean, Winter Candy Apple is just that. I think I would only ever be interested in it in either a shower gel, a body scrub, or like the moisturizing shower gel because I really like how this smells in the shower once it's like warmed up with the steam on a loofah. It just smells really good that way, but I don't think I'd ever enjoy it as like a lotion, a body cream, or any other form, or the mist or anything. I just really liked it in the shower. So, but this was really good and I finished off. 
Okay, for candles, I did finish off two candles. I finished off raspberries and whipped vanilla in the single wick. And this was also my project wax. I finished it off in one, two months. I went through it like crazy the last month and I really burned it in my bathroom on nights when I was like getting ready for bed. And it was so nice, nice, like gentle berry scent. It was so beautiful. I'm loving that they're mixing everything with vanilla nowadays because it just makes it such a soft and comforting kind of scent. Same with like mahogany vanilla. It's so nice and like gentle and I just really enjoy it. So this one was really great. Definitely pick it up. I think it's in the um, Easter collection now in a single wick and then also just in a three wick in the spring collection. And the next candle I finished off is a three wick in Love Cotton Candy Champagne. So you can tell I was obsessed with the scent over the last month. Um, here's the progress. It was in my project wax one month and then the second month I just like went crazy and finished it up. It was a great like super fruity scent. Um, it was just nice and gentle and I don't think it's anything like a winter scent like at all. This was like perfect for February and March and just it was a nice scent. Okay, so I said I finished off a lot but I only really finished off seven wax bars. So I guess that's not that crazy. Most people finish off that in like a week but for me, I don't have too many warmers. I have um, I have had only one downstairs for a while. Um, oh, sorry. I have had only one downstairs in the kitchen, um, like a bigger one and then a smaller one in the kitchen. So that's like the only ones that I used to have. And I just recently got one upstairs that's a 25 watt. So I don't really have crazy amount of warmers. I just have three. I have two big ones and one small one. So nothing crazy. But anyways, I finished off seven. That's a lot for me, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go by brand. So I finished off two Scentsy bricks. I finished off the toasted acorn and oak. This was so good in my kitchen, which I was not expecting this scent to be good in the kitchen. I thought it would be more like, I don't know, just a general like whatever scent, but it was so yummy. And this like comforting caramel cinnamon note that it has is so good. I know it's definitely a fall scent, but I enjoyed it so much in my house. I will definitely pick it up again. It was so nice, like wafting from the kitchen into the living room. It kind of just made the made the house just smell like nice and comforting. I don't know. And the next one I finished off is Perfectly Pomegranate. This one was nice and simple. just like a fruity scent, but it made my house smell clean. So I did this like before my parents came over to the house and it smelled really nice. I don't know. Okay, now I have two from Mainstays. The first one is Hazelnut Cream. This is supposed to be like a, I guess it's a coffee scent. It doesn't really smell like coffee. It smells like creamer, I would say, <laughs> not coffee. I thought it would be a coffee scent, but it's not. And it was not very strong, so I probably won't pick this one up again. Um, and then Crispy Treats, which smelled so good. It's basically Rice Krispie Treats, but with Fruity Pebbles instead of just with Rice Krispies. Oh my gosh smells delicious it honestly smells exactly like that it smells so good i will definitely pick it up again and mm, it was a it was delicious okay now i have a few one-offs from different brands so first we have country candles welcome home this one was just like a simple cinnamon spicy scent so this one was also nice in the kitchen just smelled like cinnamon like somebody baking like a pecan pie or something Smelled really great, but I don't think I'll ever order from Country Candle or Kringle Candle again because, unless they have a really great deal, but I ordered stuff on Black Friday last year and it didn't come in until the end of December, like the week of the 20th. So it took like four weeks to get here and by the time I got here, it, it was already through, like I was already almost over the Christmas scents. So that was kind of sad, but yeah, I did like this scent. It did perform really well though. Um, next I have from the Target Threshold brand, Vanilla Bean and Amber with notes of Tonka and Wood. I actually love this scent. It is the perfect like clean laundry, just cleaned your house. Everything smells delicious. Oh. Everything smells so clean and fresh. It's like a Donny commercial. I don't know. It just makes me think of clean soap. Oh God, it's so good. So I definitely will pick this up again next time I'm in the mood to buy wax at Target, which is not often, but I definitely would consider getting it again. I think it was like $4. Um, highly recommend for you guys. If you haven't checked out um, Target's wax section, you definitely should. And this was a really great scent if you like, like that clean laundry, clean soap smelling scent. 
And the last one that I finished off is from Sonoma and Margarita, no, sorry, Mango Margarita. The scent notes are Mango Nectar, Blood Orange, and Fresh Lime Juice. I did get this on sale at, um, I did get this at Kohl's. It smells really good, just like a juicy mango. It doesn't really smell like margarita, but like a juicy mango. It was nice. I would definitely pick it up again if it was $174. Um, great price. I don't think I'd ever pay full price for those Sonoma wax melts, but if I ever get them for um, a good deal on clearance and I'm just like randomly in Kohl's for some reason, then yeah, I would pick them up. I wouldn't go to Kohl's just to pick them up though. Okay, all the rest of the stuff is kind of like random, so I'll just choose it out of here. Um, there actually is one uh, wallflower plug-in in Mahogany Coconut. It's going right now in the bathroom. It smells great. Or no, sorry, it's actually in the hallway. It smells really great. I have a hair care product, the Derma E Scalp Relief Conditioner. Love this. It's supposed to be for eczema or psoriasis on the scalp. It's amazing. Highly recommend it. I like the Joyco brand um, hydrating shampoo better shampoo and conditioner better but this one works really well it gives you like that tingly minty feeling to your scalp that like tea tree usually does oh so good um we'll go with hair products then so the next thing i have is living proof scalp care dry scalp treatment again another thing for people who suffer with psoriasis or eczema on their scalp really really good stuff i love that i've repurchased it like five times already some makeup stuff that I have. We've got the Wet n Wild Brow Obsessive Brow Shaping Gel. This was not good at all. It didn't work. It wasn't the best color. It was like super dark. Um, it didn't work at all, but it was probably $2 or a dollar. So like, I can't really complain, but it just wasn't good. I got that, like I picked it up in a pinch when I had forgotten my makeup one day for work or something. And yeah, um, the next thing I have is the Maybelline, uh, what is this concealer? you know, infallible, I think is the concealer in ivory. I've already repurchased this. It is so good. This is my favorite concealer for my under eyes. I love it. And then the last makeup product I have is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara in this little mini. I really love this. I almost considered picking it up in a full size, but I can't justify paying for um, actual mascara brands. I mean, for actual, I can't, I can't justify paying more than like $10 for a mascara, too much money. So if this was ever like a free item again, I would definitely get it, but I don't think I'd ever pay for it. And then I did finish off the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion with SPF 50. So this was basically my sunscreen. I had started using retinol, and so I picked up a sunscreen, and this was the first one that I got. It was good. Um, I would say it's good for dry skin, but not good for oily skin, because this would leave me looking really oily throughout the day. So... It has sunflower extract, so it was supposed to be really moisturizing. And for a while, I needed that because I had some dry patches on my face, but I don't need it anymore, so I actually picked up the mattifying one. But if you have dry skin, this was really good. And then I did finish off a chapstick pumpkin pie. Yeah, pumpkin pie. I got like a holiday stocking with a bunch of these flavors in it, and I finally finished off the pumpkin pie one, and I never thought I would be able to do that. So those were actually really good and just like fun to have. Okay, and then I finished off two face masks. Ryan and I actually had a face mask night and just used up two. So these are the Tony Moly sheet masks in Poor Care, uh, Red Wine, and Honey Nourishing. These are really nice. I keep repurchasing them, even though they don't really do much for me. They just make me feel good. I don't know, they just make me feel good. So yeah, that is everything for the month of March empties. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm a little sad that there weren't as many candles, but we killed it on the body care and we killed it on the wax melts. So at least that, <laughs> I can't say that I'm mad about doing all that stuff. So let me know down below something that you just finished up. And um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.